Hi everyone. Today I have the honour of um, introducing Leanne Pilkington. And Leanne is the um, president of the Real Estate Institute of New South Wales. Um, Leanne, welcome. And thank you for your time. Oh, that's an absolute pleasure. Thanks so much for having me. We know how busy you are. Yeah, there's been a lot going on. There's no doubt about that. Yes. And um, as the uh, expert, I've um, just prepared a few um, questions to ask you. I will do my very best. Perfect. So um, the first question is a um, controversial topic and, and very much out there in the um, press. And, and um, Why not start with a controversy right <laughs> off the bat, right? <laughs> That's all right. So I just wanted to ask you, what is the um, six-month moratorium on evictions? If you could please um, explain a little bit about that one for me. Sure. So um, Scott Morrison famously came out and said nobody will be evicted in the next six months. That's right. What, um, what tenants heard was we don't have to pay rent for the next six months, which yes. of course is absolutely not the case. So the moratorium on evictions is only applies for people that are impacted by COVID-19. So no landlords or agents can terminate a tenancy due to lack of um, payment of rent if that person is impacted. Now, the definition of being impacted by COVID-19 is a decrease of 25% in the household income um, after you take into consideration any government payments. Okay, sure. And we've been told to negotiate in good faith. Yep. So what, what does good good faith mean? That's a very sort of ambiguous. It is. It's a great, that is a great question. Yes. Um, and so for me, in good faith means that if you're a tenant and you are saying, hey, I've been impacted by COVID and I needed a reduction in rent, then you need to justify that. And if you are able to justify that reduction, then the landlord needs to really seriously have a look and see what they can do as well. The challenge, though, is that a lot of our landlords have landlord insurance. Yes. And the landlord insurance, in fact, Terry Shear came out just this week and said that if a landlord and an, a tenant negotiates their rent, then Terry Shear is not obliged to pay out insurance on that on that difference. So just say um, you're, you're, you're the landlord, you're... I'm paying you $500 a week, but you've said, you know what, Leanne, you're struggling right now. I'll let you pay $300 a week for the next month. Yeah. Um, you couldn't claim that difference, that $200 difference. You can't claim. Yeah. And if I don't pay that $300, um, all you can get from your insurer is $300. You can't get the full amount that the you've been amount. paying your insurance on. So okay. I think that is really, I think it's wrong. I think yeah. the insurance, the insurers have been making an absolute fortune out of landlord insurance for a really long yeah. time. Yeah. Um, so, but that's the way. So if you are a landlord with landlord insurance, it's a struggle for you to negotiate in good faith unless you accept that you won't get that money back from that full um, amount. Yep, that full amount. Or you can then go to tribunal. And, and Terry Shear in particular are saying if the tribunal says that you need to negotiate that amount, well, then that's a different thing. You can claim it on insurance. So that's okay. not negotiating in, in good faith in, good in, in my mind. Yeah. But we're doing, we only found out, we only got this news um, this week. Okay. So we are still, um, we're making a bit of noise about that in the media at the moment. But yeah. Okay. All right. And so at what point is that third party intervention um, from tribunal, you know, sort of required? At what point do you think um, well, if you can't um, if you can't reach a, an agreement between the landlord and tenant with the agent as a mediator, yeah. then you need to reach out to Fair Trading. Um, Fair, yeah. Fair Trading have got mediation available, and if then you can't get um, you still can't get an answer uh, or an agreement that you you both sides are happy with, then then you go to NCAT. So I don't know how long that process yeah. is taking right now. Yeah. Um, my understanding is fair trading are moving relatively quickly with the mediation, yeah. but I haven't had an update on that in the, in about two weeks. So I don't I, I don't know where we're at right now. Sure. And we've been told um, with guidance that we um, are supposed to be following our standard arrears procedure, issuing those eviction notices, even if they're not enforceable, 
in making our applications to um, tribunal, just as you mentioned, for those insurance purposes. So that is yeah. So that and and so some of the insurers have come out, and again, this is only this week. Um, yeah. Some of the insurance companies have come out and said, actually, you don't need to um, issue those eviction notices, given that they're unenforceable. Okay. But I would yeah. definitely recommend that you get that in writing from your particular insurer because yeah. every insurance company is yeah. different. It sounds like the best thing to do is, as I said, what we've been given the guidance to do, just keep yes. following the procedure even if it's not enforceable because I guess all the insurance insurance um, companies have different, different. policies. That way, you, I guess you know that you're covered. Yeah, that's and right. Speaking of insurance, a lot of our um, landlords yep. who have, um, you know, sort of just come on the market and, and you know, leased their properties out and, and um, secured a tenant are now unable to get landlord insurance. So when do you yeah, think? that's well, right. Um, so I don't know the answer to that. I do know, though, there's one product called Realty Protect. Okay. Um, and they are almost ready to start issuing insurance um, okay. again. So it yeah. might be another week or two. Okay. I don't know That's about the other bad. products, though. So you should be able to get a Realty, insur a realty Protect policy within the next within week or two. Within about a week. Yeah, okay, so the wait is, you know, not too long then not now. for that product. Yeah. Okay, perfect. 